Hey guys, I'm Ms. Black Gold, and I had to come back to you and do a Dollar Tree review, empties, just let you know what's going on with these products. So, <laughs> I gotta get rid of this stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with this Bob Ross puzzle. We did the puzzle, you guys. I love it. I love this puzzle. I actually ended up uh, gluing it together after we did it. I actually need to put a second coat of paint on that before it comes apart. That one coat of, of um, excuse me, not a paint, of glue. That one coat of glue I put on there is not enough. I can still feel pieces wanting to move. So I need to do another um, coat. But I love this. We picked this up from the Dollar Tree. This was a 300 piece Bob Ross. This says by Cardinal Industries. So that's actually who this puzzle is from. And I really like the pieces. They were, um, they're not very thick pieces, but they were very durable enough, especially durable enough for me to uh, glue, you know, um, the puzzle together after we did it. So I enjoyed that. This was the Scheduled Bridge by Bob Ross. And I would definitely pick up another Cardinal um, puzzle. Looking at stuff right here, this says spinmaster.com. It's my first time even noticing that. Brush Buddies, they're herbal toothpaste infused with activated charcoal, as well as the Brush Buddies bamboo charcoal toothbrush. So y'all saw that toothbrush that the Dollar Tree had, and it was right there on the back. It was wooden, and it had like the black teeth. So I've been using this toothbrush along with this toothpaste, and I enjoy it. I really like the toothbrush. It's very soft. It tells you, though, it was a soft toothbrush. It is very soft. Um, but not only that, this toothpaste does not taste bad at all. I mean, I don't know if I thought it was going to taste bad, but it doesn't have an off-putting taste. It's nice, mellow taste. Um, as far as whitening my teeth, I mean, I don't know. It's cool mint flavor, but I enjoy it. I enjoy this toothpaste as well as this toothbrush. I would purchase both again. So, buy it. You just might like it. Go ahead and try it. Dollar Tree sells fab every here and there. This is my first time trying the pods. I've tried this laundry detergent before, and I enjoy both. I've said it numerous times on my channel before. I'm not really um, the type of person to trip over a laundry detergent. This fab did the job. I would repurchase this. So if you're someone who is well, maybe you don't, uh, you're not very in particular about your laundry detergent. Cause I, not only do I use the laundry detergent and the fabric softener, but I also always put a scoop of the LA's Totally Awesome um, Oxygen Base Cleaner in and my clothes get clean. I have no complaints about <laughs> about that fab laundry detergent. Now this is a soft soap value refill of the Chris Cucumber and Melon Hand Soap. And these are 11.25 ounces. I love when the Dollar Tree has these. I'm a soft soap girl. Like soft soap can never do any wrong. Um, I like that, of course it cleans, but it also to me is very moisturizing. I like the consistency of the hand soaps. Now this Nature Box. This is what I wish I would have stocked up on when the Dollar Tree had it. This is 8.45 um, fluid ounces, but it smelled so good. It was nice and thick. It was really good. Um, and I hear that it was pretty, like, people were buying this from Ross to TJ Maxx, and they were spending, like, five, three to five dollars on this hand soap. So, and but that is a big thing for me, guys. We get so much stuff at the Dollar Tree that when you see something that maybe you know will probably not come back to the Dollar Tree, um, it's like... I have to get in a better habit of buying that product and using it right away because if I don't use it right away, when I want to get it again, it's going to be gone. So I need to like use it, see if I like it, so I can go back to Dollar Tree and get more. Is anybody else like that? Like we get so much good stuff from the Dollar Tree, sometimes you don't get the opportunity to try it when it's out, like when it's there. All right, the Essentials Jumbo Blanket Storage Bag. I won't buy this again. This tore me, I put the blanket, well the comforter, I put the comforter in this bag, zipped it up. I had left it there for a moment, came back to move it when I grabbed it, it just, it literally the top of it just tore right off. A hole was in it. Um, when I realized it was tearing, I let it go so it wouldn't tear anymore. And I actually do still have my comforter in that bag, in this bag, 
and I have it stored away, but it has a hole in it. It tore easy. So I would never purchase this again. These Munch Right barbecue flavor were horrible. I would not purchase these again. Nobody ate these. They are still in there. Did not like the flavor of these Munch Right at all. I love the cheddar and sour cream. I love the um, apple cinnamon, but the barbecue, y'all can keep the barbecue. This was the Spa Life Big Fizz Rainbow Sherbet Scented um, Bath bath bomb yeah bath bomb my youngest love this and when i found this i only found one i wish i would have been able to get more when this was there but this huge bath bomb he loved he enjoyed it and i, I love throwing it in there seeing it change the different colors and change the tub so this was fun i would repurchase this again if i saw it now this is by beer nuts they were the uh excuse me this was a cantina mix which it was a distinct flavor pairing of guacamole, black bean, chili limon, and sriracha. And it had the original Virginia peanuts in it. And it was okay. Um, a little too much spice for me. That like Maybe that's sriracha. And I am more of a sweet and salty girl. If you tried this, tell me if you liked it. You might have actually enjoyed it. But it was not, it wasn't my thing. This is a TJ Farm Select Pepper Stir Fry. This was really good. This is my first time trying it and I enjoyed it. The peppers and the onions frozen. I used the whole bag at one time. Um, I made like a chicken stir fry, but I actually used um, Japanese noodles with it. I think they were like udon noodles with it, but it was really good. I would do this pepper stir fry again. Calfia Farms Barista Blend Almond Milk. This was a 32 fluid ounce container. I love this. I put this in my coffee. I love the way it tastes. Um, we have been doing whipped coffee. Enjoy it in the whipped coffee. This is good. My son has been eating this with his cereal. We like it. We love the taste of this. I've actually went back and bought a whole case of this. I found a Dollar Tree that had it, but bought a whole case. This is Calfia Farms Barista Blend Almond Milk, 32 ounces. Definitely try it. The Lipton Southern Sweet Tea Iced Tea. The kids enjoyed this. Definitely try this. Um, as well as the regular traditional blend. So easy to make. Just put it in a pitcher with water. Add a little lemon if you like to your taste, um, but you don't even have to if you don't want. The kids enjoyed making this. If you're not familiar already with the Dollar Tree, having these George and Tom's sugar cones, you get 12 sugar cones in here for a dollar, and this is a great deal, and they taste good. My kids love these. These never stay around in the house. If we have ice cream and we've got these, these go quickly. So try these, you definitely will like these. I have been making sure that I soak my body, so I've already used this salt range, Himalayan pink salt, bath salt, as well as Spa Naturals Activated Charcoal Bath Soap, and I like both of these. Um, this charcoal bath soap, I like the smell of it. Let me grab the third one. The avocado oil smells really good. This one, this moisturizing bath soap with the avocado oil, this smells really good. So don't hesitate to try all three. These are the two spa natural bath soaps as well as this salt range, Himalayan pink salt. Look between the um, Epsom salts and the Himalayan pink salt and the warm water, your body's going to feel good. At least let me tell you mine did, my body felt good. So I would purchase all three of these again. This was the iced tea lemon by Lipton. I already told you, try it, it was good. Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief. This was a concentrated mineral bath soak. This one consisted of Epsom salt, menthol, and spearmint. I'd buy it again. I wish actually that they sold this in a bigger container because this is so small. This little 0.2, this little two ounce container, mm, this isn't doing it. It'd have been nice if by if this by Village Naturals um, Therapy came in something bigger. But it was a good, it was a it was a good addition to add to my bath when I was soaking. I would buy it again in a bigger size. This Cala Medibio Capsule Mask, I would definitely use again, buy again from the Dollar Tree. If I see these again, I would buy them. These are a very um, decadent face mask, I would say. This is that face mask that you put on and then you do the little oil. 
I did not know with this face mask that you actually leave it on for 40 minutes. You leave this one for a long time. Because I was wondering, people were saying that these were like $10 online. I was like, what is it about these that were $10? I guess because, you know, you leave it on longer. Not only that, I love that with these face masks, you actually have to peel off a plastic layer. The face mask is in between two pieces of, like, plastic so the face mask is in between that. You play, you peel off the plastic layer, you put the face mask on. Once it's nice and on, then you peel the last piece of plastic off. I like that. Made me feel fancy, like I was doing something a little extra. Um, and then after you leave that on for 40 minutes and it soaks in, it's like you have to peel that face mask off after that, after it dries for the 40 minutes. And then you put this on. And there's so much in here that Really, you don't even need to use all of that in that capsule. So that capsule that was right there, you don't even need to use all of that. Like, I, I put some on my face and my neck and still had some left. So you know what I did? I, I made sure I saved the capsule and I used it um, the next day, just putting the capsule on after I washed my face. And Alan, I love the scent of this. I use this, I just leave it in my toilets. Um, leave it in there for a little while before I clean the toilet. I use this in the trash cans once I take out the kitchen trash and I feel like it was an odor in there, need to get out. I throw some hot water and a penile in there and I just use it to clean when I want, um, the area, when I want whatever area I'm cleaning, whatever room I'm cleaning to smell really good and fresh. I love this. It does. It really does. It says eliminates bad odor. Odor. And this Pen Allen really does eliminate bad odor. I love the way this smells. And just recently, the Dollar Tree has been having this again. So if you like Pen Allen, make sure you pick some up now. Thank you for watching these Dollar Tree reviews. Let me know if you've tried it and whether you like it or if you tried it and you trashed it. I would love to know. Take care, everybody. And hopefully I'll be back very soon with my part two to my Dollar Tree haul that I uploaded earlier today.